let's say that our argument count is greater than 2, which is what we need, we'll continue past our if on down to here. This is a, a function that we haven't talked about yet. Uh, it's one of the standard string handling functions, and it's pretty easy to use, as you can see, and it's called string end copy. And string end copy will take a number of characters from the second uh, item and put it into the first. So here's buffer, is our destination. Here's the source, which is the first argument, past the name. If we put a zero in here, that would be the name of the program itself. Argv sub one, though, is our first uh, parameter, and we're going to take a maximum of nine characters. Remember that uh, C strings always have a zero on the end of them. Uh, they always have a null byte. So this is 10 characters long, so we don't want to use them all up. We need to have that last one as a zero. So we'll only copy nine, a maximum of nine across. That's a way of keeping uh, somebody from overrunning our command line and, and messing things up. We'll see more of that later when we talk about web programming, too, because that's a common way to have a web uh, person mess with us. So here we say, if not string compare buffer slash question mark, printf, they want help. Now string compare, what it's going to do is do exactly that, compare the characters in the string that's inside buffer, and we know that that's our first command line uh, argument, with this slash and the question mark. If they are exactly the same, buffer is, or string comp, I'm sorry, string comp is comparing buffer and slash question mark. If they are exactly the same, there is no difference between them. If there is no difference between them, that's zero, and string compare will return a zero. Well, what's a zero inside an if? It's false. Well, we want to arrange our logic so that if this does compare properly and is true, then we'll print out they want help. That's where we use the not, the exclamation mark, or some people call it the bang. If we do not string compare, if these two are equal, string compare returns zero, the not turns it to non-zero or one, the if works, and we print out they want help. Else if, which is why we're here, else if, not string compare, buffer slash A, then they ask for option A, else if, not string compare, buffer B, they ask for option B, else we don't know what they asked for. They put something in the argument that didn't work, and that's the unknown option. What we'll do is save this, so we know we're working with the right code, and we will come back here to our command line, and we will do our cl, else if dot c, and there we compile it, and we get our program, else if dot exe. Now I'll run it. Now I notice, notice here, I ran it without any options. So our argument count was equal to 1, and that's not enough. Our argument count needs to be greater than 2. So we wind up here. Usage, we need an option. Right there. So our argument count was wrong. Let's say that we run it, though, else if, and we ask for help, slash question mark. They want help. Now we're in this part. If the string compare slash question mark, print if they want help. None of the other ifs or else ifs, else ifs, I'm sorry, would match, so we wind up jumping out of the program here at the end. And of course we can look for A. There's option A. We can look for B, option B. And if we put something else in there, like a, a C, we didn't program or didn't, uh, handle an option C, that's an unknown option. So all of our test scenarios work. We tested without any option. We tested with our known good factors, and we tested with an unknown. So that's uh, our full test suite for this particular program, and everything worked just as we thought it would. Now we will have a uh, an exercise for you later uh, to use else if. So take a look at this program and uh, we'll make it available to you here for a little bit so that you can see the thing and uh, you will be able to use the if else in uh, and else if also in your own code so now we've seen the else if statement if this is true do this else if this is true do that 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 else if none of these match do the 
final default statement. This is optional, of course. You don't have to have that there, but it is nice to have this else to kind of clean up and make sure that if you don't get one of your items that you handle that properly and don't fall off the end of the world.